Now let's do set number 32, 5 item CSE related mathematics. Word problems about fractions. If you haven't answered them yet, pause every item, answer them first before you will see our solutions. Number 1. Three kittens weigh two and one third pounds, one and five six pounds, and two and two third pounds. What is the total weight of the kittens? Total weight. Ibig sabihin, ipang add lang natin ito. Itong two and two third pounds, two and one third, and one and one six. Unahin natin i add, kasi mixed numbers ito, addition. So unahin natin i add itong mga fraction. Fraction. Kung mag-add tayo ng fraction, dapat yung denominator natin ay pariho. So, in convert natin na pariho yung denominator by finding the least common denominator. And the least common denominator here is 6. Meron tayong separate video again sa finding the least common denominator. So, 6 divided by 3 equals 2. 2 times 1 equals 2. Plus... Ito, bring down lang yung 5 over 6. And then 6 divided by 3 equals 2. 2 times 2 equals 4. In other words, si 1 third ay equivalent ng 2 over 6. Tapos si 2 third ay equivalent ng 4 over 6. Pwede na tayong mag-add. Kopyahin si denominator na 6. 2 plus 5 plus 4 and that is 11. So, itong improper fraction na to, isimplify natin. 11 divided by 6, bali... 1 and 11 minus 6, and that is 5. So, kopyahin ang denominator na 6. So, ang lahat ng mga fraction ay equivalent ng 1 and 5 over 6. Now, itong 1 na whole number, i-add natin sa 2, 1, at saka 2. 2 plus 1 plus 2 plus 1, and that is 6. So, 5 over 6. Ito na yung sagot. 6 and 5 over 6 pounds, letter B. Number 2. If Rachel has worked a total of 26 and 1 fourth hours so far this week and was to work a total of 37 and 1 half hours, how much longer does she have to work? I minus lang natin. 37 and 1 half minus 26 and 1 fourth. So, nag-subtract tayo ng mixed numbers. Unahin muna natin yung fraction. Leave muna natin si mga whole numbers. So, ang least common denominator niya ay 4. So, 4 divided by 2 equals 2. 2 times 1 equals 2. In other words, si 1 half ay equivalent ng 2 over 4. Pwede na siyang ma-deduct. So, kopyahin lang si denominator na 4. 2 minus 1 equals 1. Ngayon, mag-deduct tayo sa mga whole numbers. 37 minus 26, and that is 11. So, ang sagot dito ay 11 and 1 fourth. Letter B. Number 3. On Roy's daily jog, he travels a distance of one half mile to get to the track and one half mile to get home from the track. One lap around the track is one fourth mile. If Roy jogs five laps around the track, what is the total distance that he travels? I-add lang natin lahat siya. Itong one-half and one-half, itong si one-fourth, yan yung i-multiply mo sa five kasi itong one-fourth ay one lap around the track is one-fourth mile. If Roy jogs five laps, instead na isa lang, five, so limang one-fourth. Around the track, what is the total distance that he travels? So, one half plus one half plus itong, i-add mo itong limang one fourth. So, i-multiply mo siya. Unahin muna natin itong pag-multiply dito. Five times one fourth and that is five over four. So, itong one half na ito, that is equivalent to 1 because this is, ikupyahin mo lang yung 2. So, 1 plus 1 equals 2. So, 2 over 2. Ang 2 over 2 ay equivalent ng 1. 
Okay? So, ang i-add natin ay itong 5 over 4. 5 over 4, convert natin into mixed numbers. And that is 1 and 1 fourth. So, i-add mo lang yung mga whole numbers, and that is 2, at si fraction na 1 fourth. Ang sagot dito ay 2 and 1 fourth. Letter A. Uulitin ko just in case nalilito kayo. I-add mo itong one half, dalawang one half kaya ito. Ang dalawang one half ay equivalent ng one. Ito siya. Next, i-multiply mo si five sa one fourth kasi one lap around the track is one fourth mile. If Roy jogs five laps, so i-multiply mo si one fourth ng lima, bali limang one fourth. So itong five times one fourth and that is equivalent to 5 over 4. See, 5 over 4 na improper fraction can be converted into mixed numbers, which is, ang answer dito ay 1 and 1 fourth. So, itong 1 natin dito at saka si 1 and 1 fourth na itong whole number na 1, i-add na natin yan and that is 2. So, kopyahin lang si 1 fourth. So, ang sagot natin dito ay 2 and 1 fourth. Letter A. Number 4. Susie's pie receipt calls for one and one-third cups sugar. If she wants to add an additional of one-third cup to make the pie sweeter, how much sugar will she need in all? I-add lang natin yan. So, bali, one and one-third plus one-third equals. Since pariho naman itong denominator sa mga fractions natin, so, kopyahin lang si den denominator na three. 1 plus 1 and that is 2. So, itong whole number na to ay kopyahin lang dyan kasi wala naman siyang whole number sa kabila. So, the answer here is 1 and 2 third. Letter D. Number 5. Juna hikes 7 and 3 8 miles on Friday, 6 and 3 over 10 miles on Saturday, and 5 and 1 fifth miles on Sunday. How many miles did he hike in all? Ibig sabihin, ipang-add lang natin ito. So, this is 7, 3 over 8, plus 6 and 3 over 10, plus 5 and 1 over uh, 1 fifth. 5 and 1 fifth. Unahin muna natin ang mga fractions. Ang least common denominator ng fractions ay 40. Again, mayroon tayong sipalit video on how to find the least common denominator. 40 divided by 8, and that is 5. 5 times 3 equals 15. 40 divided by 10 equals 4. 4 times 3 equals 12. 40 divided by 5 equals 8. 8 times 1 equals 8. So, pwede na natin i-add ang mga fractions. Kopyahin si 40. 15 plus 12 plus 8, and that is 35. I-list muna natin itong 35 over 40 by finding the greatest common factor Ang greatest common factor nila ay 5. So, i-divide natin ng 5 ang both na numerator at saka denominator. 35 divided by 5 and that is 7. 40 divided by 5 and that is 8. So, in other words, the 35 over 40 ay equivalent ng 7 over 8. So, ito yung fraction natin. Ipang-add lang natin itong mga whole numbers. 7 plus 6. Bali, 7 plus 6 plus 5 and that is 18. So, ang sagot dito ay... 18 and 7 over 8. Letter B.